The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, and alongside me today is none other than just one stand-up comedian. He is the funniest person I know. He is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Holding down the fort, dude. This feels weird. It does feel weird. There's not a there's like an empty space in between us. So let's just be done with it then. Okay, right. yeah. Good All night, right. everybody. Good night, everybody. Keep laughing, assholes. That's right. Uh, but no, uh, Derek is he's delayed. I guess he's uh, for his Christmas trip. He's going up to his hometown in uh, Decatur, Illinois, and he's delayed. So he uh, actually had to leave today. And uh, over the last I don't know four days, I have been extremely sick. Uh, to the point where I couldn't really do much of anything, so I uh, do apologize for the uh, late episode, but it's either this or nothing at all. That's right. Uh, yeah. By the way, I, I just wanted to say that uh, fans don't usually get to see this because we don't actually broadcast it, but before every uh, show, we do the national anthem here. That's right. And... Uh, you know, usually we get some kind of big time recording artist. Uh, oddly enough, this time was the Wu Tang Clan, which was yeah. a, str- a strange choice. Yeah. But uh, I found it very classy that when the uh, the uh, F-16s did the flyover, that they did the missing man formation. Nice. In honor of Derek, I thought that was very that classy. Was very, very nice of them. Very, mm-hmm. very nice. Uh, but no, we we have a. I don't know. We're gonna fuck around a little bit today. We've got a normal episode like we normally do. But are we gonna find out? We're going to find out. Okay. We're going to fuck around a lot and find out a little. Okay. I think. Fair that's enough. What, that's Fair what's going to happen. Enough. Yeah. Uh, but we do got, uh, you know, the sports news, real shit, horse shit. We got overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, what's in the box. Uh, and as always, a draft. And we're going to end up with a shitty, shitty situation. Uh, but before we get into that, I hope everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays by the time that this episode airs. Uh, well, at least uh, before the, or in the next episode, it will be uh, New Year's. So I hope everybody has a very happy and safe New Year's. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody made it safe. I uh, don't know about you, uh, Mr. Jeremy Joseph, but I had a, uh, a fantastic weekend. Nope, I didn't. You didn't? All right, moving on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so no, before I got uh, before I got sick, which I, this is going to explain where I probably got sick. Uh, my best friend, my oldest friend, Demetrius, um, ended up having his uh, his birthday party. He turned thirty five. Just wound up, huh? Just wound up. Uh, it was a surprise. What are the odds? Was, what are the odds he has his birthday real close to Jesus? That's uh, because you know he's he's very. He's not. No, he, he's not. The second coming. No, no, he's. A lot not. of people have been waiting on that. I know. I hear that. Okay. Uh, but no, uh, Michi and I uh, uh, and a whole bunch of our friends, uh, we did a surprise birthday party for him, and we ended up going to a like old school roller skating rink. When's the last time you've been to one of those bitches? What is it with this dude? Kickball, roller <laughs> rinks? <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you sure he's black? Yeah, he's black. Okay. But but we had a fucking blast. We it, On Friday nights, they, uh, they allow you to drink alcohol in there because they don't allow anybody under the age of 21 in, which is awesome. Um, but I still got That's what it. you need. Yeah. Drunk people on, <laughs> on roller, roller skates. skates. I, I, you, you had asked the question, though, when was the last time? Okay, as a youngster, I'm going to say up until the age of 12, mm-hmm. I was an outstanding yeah? roller skater. And then I grew up. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what the circumstances were, but one time in high school, I was probably 16, 17. Somebody said, hey, let's go to the skating rink. Mm-hmm. And it ain't like riding a bike no. for me. I had completely forgotten how. Really? And I believe that was the last time I've ever tried to skate. Really? I mean, I, 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 
as a high schooler, believe it or not, I did a little bit of skateboarding. Oh, what? Really? I mean, for as much as you could in a town that only had dirt roads. Okay, that makes but, sense. But, you know, I, I wasn't very good at it just because we didn't have a real good place to practice and, sure. you know, look at me. Right. Um, but, no, aside from that, I, I haven't been on roller skates or blades of any sort Wow! Since sixteen, okay. seventeen years old, I, I actually uh, uh, I I did the whole thing, the whole roller skates. I, whenever I was a kid, the, uh, the roller skating rink was where uh, we called it our babysitter. That's where our parents would drop off uh, the kids and go across the street to the bar in, there in western Kansas, good old Garden City, Kansas. And now they've just combined the two. That's exactly right. The bar um, in there because they got tired of leaving the fucking kids there. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but no, I, I did. I did the whole thing. Uh, I, can, I still got it. it. For me, it was like riding a bike. It took me maybe like four or five times around that bitch, but I eventually figured it out. Now, as a kid, are you... Old enough to where you had actual old school roller skates, or were they always blades for you? Oh no, they were definitely roller skates. Okay, uh, roller skate. I did the I did the actual roller skates. I didn't. That's what do you did this time. Yeah. Oh really? Wow. I did. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I I I uh, you know took the the plunge. I, I tried to be as brave as I could, and mm -hmm. you know inter interest or uh, impress uh, all of, all of my black friends that I have, and I did okay. I bet they were. They they were. They were. Uh, they they were something they were very impressed. Uh, but no, I had a great time. Had a, had a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't get too crazy, um, but uh, we stayed there until till they fucking closed at midnight for a roller skating you rink. Shut the joint down. Shut that bitch wow. down. Wow, you ain't uh, got to yeah. go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so I had a good time. Happy birthday to him. Uh, but uh, you know, we had we had Christmas. Uh, we, we, um, had people over at my, uh, my mom's side of the family. So I didn't have to drive anywhere. I didn't have to like go out of town. And so I was very happy to stay in town and just go and see those family members. It was fucking awesome. What'd that, you get for Christmas skates? Uh, no, no, no. I did not. Michi got a set of, I, uh, a pair of roller skates. I thought there. maybe that was your new hobby. <laughs> no, it sure is not. It's a one time go check it out and then don't ever do it again. Okay. Yeah. Um, but probably, uh, I mean, obviously the family, the food, the ham, all of that stuff was really, really great, but nothing beats fantasy football on Christmas. Oh, baby. Jesus Christ. This so pisses me <laughs> off. Number one, I was right. I was right in that if I had started the other defense, if I had started the Niners defense, I would have beaten you. So that could have been. And then, of course, this week I outscore everybody where I would have beaten anybody I would have played, including yeah, you. That's right. So uh, fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> and now you're in the finals. I'm in the championship game. That just goes to, that just goes to show. It's not about who you draft. Matters a little bit. But you got to make some moves throughout the season. Of you course know? it does. That T.Y. Hilton <laughs> pick just sealed the deal for you. <laughs> you got to drop that T.Y. Hilton, go and get somebody else, and then take advantage of Eric Von Riker. You did that, huh? Yeah, and take advantage uh -huh. of Aaron Von Riker dropping uh, David Montgomery right right before uh, uh, Cleo Herbert got hurt. So, yeah, it's it's been a great weekend. So now I know that the – the championship belt is at least going to stay within the family. It's going to be either myself or uh, my stepdad. I hope he throws it right in the trash. Uh, oh, man. And and by the way, you, you played Derek's wife this week. I did. Who's the number one team in the league? Who has just been decimating people. Yep. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's the wrong word. Um, destroying people. Mm -hmm. Decimating doesn't mean destroying. A lot mm -hmm. of people make that mistake. Okay. Decimating, actually, did you know this? What? Literally means to... Destroy ten percent of something. <laughs> really? Yes, uh, that, that yeah, makes sense. That, yeah. yeah, ten. Like okay. the uh, you know they talk about plagues decimating a population. It wipes out ten percent of the population. Okay. That's what that means. That's what COVID did. So a lot of people use that wrong. Fuck everybody who uh, does, including me who just did it. Yeah. Okay. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but uh, but yeah, she had she had been just killing other teams, <laughs> great teams too. And we go into it and uh, yeah, I ended up pulling out the W. She sat Joe Burrow. She did, and I don't know why. I, she played Justin Fields. It's like she doesn't want to win. I think she doesn't. Secretly, she wants me to win mm -hmm. because she knows how much it will piss off her husband. It'll be great. Oh, God. I don't think he'll do the league next year if you I win don't it. Either. <laughs> I don't either. I, I legitimately, <laughs> he's just that way. It is. It's true. But I mean, um, he didn't show up tonight. I didn't tell you this uh, <laughs> because you beat his that, wife. Oh, that makes perfect she sense. She didn't allow him to come. It. it, it I, I really honestly don't want to win because of any other reason other than wanting to piss him off. That's my sole reason of wanting to win. 
it's like, okay, I get second place. That's still good. I had a really shitty draft and turn it into a decent team. No, I really just want to piss him off. I want to make him mad. So, Were you the, the lowest seed? Uh, the 12, I, the 12 pick. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, Oh, to make playoffs. the playoffs? No, I was fifth. Fifth. Okay. I got I got in one ahead of somebody else, and yeah. So, but I'm in it, baby. Yeah. Mm. So that's the greatest part of my weekend. Uh, but yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year, Jeremy. How did you? Uh, how was your week? Week recap. Well, I've been uh, enjoying my first days off since the Thanksgiving weekend. Really? Yep. So I, you've been off the last couple of days. I've been off since the 23rd. Oh wow. Yeah. So uh, packing up some Christmas shit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're taking that down already. All that work. Which, by the way, for those who don't know, I put up a TikTok, or I, yeah. I made a video that Scotty put up on TikTok. I did. Of uh, me going through my house and uh, getting all my wife's Christmas trees and showing some of her insanity. Uh, Can I add something to that? It, you edited out a couple. I, I did. I cut out some stuff and, so it wasn't too long. And I missed long. a couple. Oh, you missed a couple. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it was it was too hard because obviously you don't want those videos to go too crazy long, um, and so I cut out a little bit. But man, she's got a lot of shit. Oh, I think people were people were like, oh shit, I'm in this for the long haul. I just want to <laughs> see how crazy this gets. Yeah, but it pretty was pretty damned. Yeah, it's it true. I mean, you only shaved off twenty seconds or something off of yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's a two and a half minute video uh, as it is. The one that I po- that I posted was two minutes and like eight seconds, but your original Mine was almost like went al- the full al- three. almost went the full three. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I kind of had to skip a couple. <laughs> yeah, I believe and, it. And yeah. I forgot a couple. And yeah, yeah. So uh, there's that. So if you want to see what I have to deal with, go check that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also had to deal with my father in law being in town. That was a lot of fun. I'm sure. Yeah, he. Uh, he gave me a Home Depot gift card that he didn't activate. <laughs> that was nice of him. So he really won downed himself. Again. He sure did. <laughs> I mean, yes, this says hundred dollars on it, but uh, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he went and spent it himself and just gave me the card. He just he he didn't get it at Home Depot uh, here. Our grocery store, our supermarket chain, the big one is called Dylan's, and you can buy gift cards from everywhere there and apparently they self-checked it and he never got that one through oh man so wow yeah and and i don't know whether or not to bring it up (laughs) because it's not like he'll feel like a dick for it no he won't no he'll just think he won christmas uh let's see uh what else did i do well we had christmas yeah of course uh got some pretty cool shit mostly home depot cards most of them work Cool. They're, they're, most of them are activated and have money on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a, a three-horsepower r- router. Oh. Uh, that's, that that's, thing's a fucking moose. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I'm going to be putting it in my router table. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I don't know that you would want to try and operate this thing by hand, even though it has <laughs> handles. It would probably rip your arms off. So uh, that's what I've been doing, actually, these last couple of days now that we've gotten through the Christmas stuff with all the families and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been making some sawdust. Okay. Uh, Cause now you got all that room out in that garage that you got uh, some space to, to work, right? Nope. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, those are just boxes. What are you right talking? Now? Yeah. She still keeps all the boxes <laughs> and the tubs. Uh, there's yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make space out there. I'm making some shop furniture right now, oh, okay. trying to get a little more organized and make things a little easier to move around out there. And so, yeah, I got eyes full of sawdust, by the way. This is not uh, chlamydia yeah, for look, anybody who's wondering. Um, it looks like pink eye. You've been... it, it does look like that, but it's not, I it's, promise. It's not. And then, uh, let's see, yesterday morning, I uh, did something that I had never done before. I got up, well, I do this a lot. I got up very early. Mm-hmm. Uh, went at 6.30 a.m. and joined Matt and his class uh, for uh, a DDPY DDP session. Yeah. yeah. I saw I've, the picture. I've never done it in front of people before. Yeah, did it boost your confidence? No, no, <laughs> it didn't. Uh, I I tell you what, that is that one is the single hardest one that I've ever had to do. I burned more calories in that one workout than I've ever burned in any workout before. You look good. I know. Yeah, I'm just I saying. Know, I know. Oh yeah. By the way, I got my my DDP Yoga hundred thousand point club. There you by go. The way, you get. You get a couple hundred points for every workout you do on the app, and I accumulated a hundred thousand. How do they know that you actually did the workout? They 
don't. I guess <laughs> I, I guess it's on you. You're paying for the the app every month anyway, so right. I guess ultimately if it costs them a t-shirt, <laughs> I mean they they're out the same amount of money no matter what, whether you did right. them or not. It's kind of whether you're not you're going to benefit from it. That's a pretty expensive t-shirt even though I get a nice <laughs> discount on the app. Nice. Which by the way, I know I push that shit a lot. I just want to say this that they don't give give us anything or give me anything to do that. Yeah. I just totally stand behind it, but I don't also don't want to be that guy that just talks about his fucking workout like I'm some kind of health guru or something. I'm not. You're you're, uh, you're getting pretty good at though though you you do it uh, what? 3 times a week? Six. Six times a week. Try to, yeah. You've been on a diet for how long now? Oh, I've been trying to keep this up for a couple of years, but sure. the diet is more about uh, autoimmune issues. Okay. Now. It's not, I'm, I, that really, I don't lose a whole lot of weight doing that, surprisingly enough. Yeah. But, uh, but no, I've, I've lost over 50 pounds doing it. And uh, thing is, is I could lose another 50 and people wouldn't go, hey, look at that slim motherfucker there. So... I oh, they ju- would. I too. was just in real rough shape. No, you look good. You look right. good, dude. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. Me. Did you do anything else? Jesus Christ! I've, it's only been a few days, Scotty. <laughs> How much? I thought I, I talked about a lot of shit there. You did. No, you did. I just feel it feels kind of empty. Derek doesn't have something to bitch about, and so it's just and you know it, it is. Yeah. But, but when he gets back, I'm sure he's going to have a lot to bitch about. I can't imagine what. Well, no, I don't know. Uh, but Unless anyways. you win that fucking fantasy game. Oh, God. that oh. He may not show up. He might not. No, he really may not. But And I and I, oh, I, I just want to get under his skin. Uh, but anyways, no, we've got a great episode of uh, some sports to go over. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. Got every man in my family that for a Christmas present. That lawnmower 4.0. Grandpa looked a little weird. But uh, yeah. but yeah, yeah, I mean he he's gonna appreciate it. I mean I'm sure he I, I'm hasn't sure trimmed he his nuts in fucking thirty to forty years. Little known fact, by the way, about that. Originally, the original design it was supposed to be three horsepower. Oh wow! And people are like, oh that's too much. <laughs> that is too much for pubes. <laughs> and so they scaled it back to a more reasonable amount. <laughs> people were actually losing testicles. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They. Uh, Giving themselves uh, minor vasectomies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, yes, they do have their flagship product, the Lawnmower 4.0. They've got a ton of other products. I uh, I am wearing the, uh, the Manscaped uh, underwear right now. Pretty comfortable. Well, I showed my shirt. You show, yeah. show me your underpants, Scotty. Yeah, no, I'm good. Fine. Uh, but they have things like the Weed Whacker. They've got Ball Deodorant, Ball Toner, and lots of other excellent products at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order plus free shipping. It helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we are helping them out and reading these things word for word. So, yeah. Uh, we got some sports to obviously go over. It was a action-packed week in, weekend. Um, there's a lot of news coming out though, as we are recording this show today. Uh, first things first, uh, well, a lot of scuttlebutt about how we didn't record the show on either Monday or Tuesday this yeah, week. That's true. We that was, just, that was the main talk on sports center. I noticed I did. Yeah. They, Can you believe they were hitting us up. I had a whole bunch of like people and sports analysts going, Jesus Christ, Scotty, you had one job. How yeah. are we going to know what to talk about? This I is know. where we go to get all of our facts and stats. Exactly. No, you don't. That's that's what ESPN. Yeah, is it felt for. like they were lying. Yeah. Well, no, ESPN was contacting us. That's uh, what I'm saying. Well, yeah, I know, but we go to them, so it's like a circle of death mm, the it, whole it time. It is. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, but uh, first things first. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year JJ Watt uh, announces that he will be retiring at the end of this season, uh, which I like JJ. He's he's all right. He all right. He's a good football player. He just really seemed like a fucking asshole. Helping out charities and yeah, you and, know, in Houston, make, hurricanes, making, yeah, and shit. that shit. Yeah. Fuck that guy. That's so bad. No, he he is. Uh, I don't want to say he's he's one of my favorite players in the NFL, but he's one of my favorite people in the NFL for sure. I'll go with you on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to be a Hall of Fame s career. I would assume he maybe oh, yeah. gets in yeah, there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It never got a Super Bowl out of the whole deal. Never won a playoff game, I don't believe. Um, I think whenever he, he was, uh, oh no, maybe you're right. Arizona, I don't know if they won one last year or not. They, they went, they've been to the the postseason with him in Houston, mm-hmm. but I don't think they ever won a game. Uh huh. 
I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, yeah. he, Houston's great. He spent too much of his career hurt. That's true. That, that's also a big deal. But I still think he gets in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, the Denver Broncos, you know, they got really fucking smart for once and fired the head coach, Nathaniel Hackett, because, you know, it's totally his fault, not the excellent play of their fucking quarterback. So uh, he yeah. made a lot of dumb decisions, too. He did, too. Uh, I agree. Um, it's kind of one of those. The quarterback rarely had them in position to win at the end of the game. But on the rare occasion that he did, this guy would usually fuck it up. Yeah. Um, the funny part was, and I and I forget the guy um, who's coming in to take over as interim head coach, but they asked another guy on the staff first, and he went, nah, nah, I'm good. Hmm. You can ask somebody else. <laughs> that's really? true. That's wow. true. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how bad you know it is in Denver. Whenever you've got the opportunity of a lifetime to be an interim head coach to maybe possibly mm-hmm. get the job the next year. Nah. No, that, that's I'm, that's a Lou Brown from I'm, uh, I'm good from the Indian from Major League. Oh yeah, how would you like to manage the Indians this, next year? Oh, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Got a guy in the other line about some white walls. I'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> What's your chance to manage in the big. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. I do too. I have no idea what that actor's real name is. He will always be Lou Brown to me. Yep. Uh, but it, uh, yeah, so that's good for him. God, I, I Russell Wilson's the biggest. I think that's the worst trade uh, in a long time. I mean, at the time, it seemed nobody could have ever expected that he was going to do as poorly as he did. As poorly, no. But, like, if you would have made the bet, I mean, Colin Cowherd was sitting there screaming that now the Denver Broncos won the offseason and now they should be a powerhouse for a Super Bowl. That's fucking ridiculous. Yes. I mean, to to have the talents that they have on that team. And a guy with, now, granted, Russell Wilson is kind of known for starting strong and then petering out toward the end of the season. But or the, he or the even, other way around. He didn't even do that. No. He just shit the bed the whole way around. And I can understand if you don't maybe have the best team around you or whatever, uh, or you know, bad coaching calls, but they basically gave him the run of the huddle. He oh, got yeah. to pick his own plays or at least could audible to whatever plays he wanted to. It was he came in and almost acted like he just didn't care. Yeah, or he, I think that he thought that he was just better than everybody else. Yeah, he's he is a delusional. Yeah. Very much so delusional. I think he still thinks that the fans in Denver love him, which is stupid. They don't. No. They they really don't. Um yeah. They probably like more guys who have played for the Raiders. <laughs> than they like Russell Wilson. <laughs> that's possible. Uh, but no, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with that because that's going to be pretty fucking tough to get out of. Um, maybe they should uh, make a trade offer to uh, uh, New York Jets. Did you hear about that? There was an announcement uh, today I that, so. uh, yeah, the New York Jets are likely to part ways with Zach Wilson in the offseason season. Yeah. Well, does that come as a surprise to anybody? No. The but only thing is Zach Wilson has has sold himself about as well as as Russell Wilson has. Yeah. So um, it'd be a strange. Nobody cry. fucking wants it. <laughs> nobody wants it. Yeah. I mean, they they have found a much better quarterback in their backup. Yeah. In Mike White, who yep. is hurt right now, right? Nope. He's coming back is this he? week. Yeah. Okay. This All week right. he will be back. So benching, uh, benching Zach Wilson. That's are, just tough to give up that pick. Are they still in playoff contention? The, the Jets? Yes, yeah. yes, they are. I mean, that you're right. That is a hard pill to swallow to your first round pick to come to the realization that that was a first he, overall pick. If was I remember he, correctly? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. But I mean, to to come to the the overall conclusion that this guy sucks. We really made a bad choice with oh, this yeah. guy. A lot of teams hate to do that, and so they'll double down on guys like that. But yeah. not so much the Jets. It, it, it's to their benefit to part ways with them, swallow whatever losses they have. Yeah, and unfortunately, the Raiders also made an announcement today that they are going to be benching Derek Carr and moving back to Oakland. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> For the third time, did I say Oakland? No. Okay, no. I just want to make sure the Las Vegas Raiders. But yeah. Uh, 
I'm doing comedy, Scotty. I'm sorry. That's what I do. I, I, I could have fucked that up. Um, but yeah, they're benching Derek Carr. They're going to their backup to try to move on. Where do you think Derek Carr? He's not going to stay in Las Vegas and be a backup. I somebody. think they're sending a very clear message. They don't want him right. back in Which in sucks. Vegas. It really sucks. Because I don't think he did terrible. No, and he's kind of one of those old school. He's a, he's a tough motherfucker. He's a guy who doesn't yeah. really complain a lot even though he's been given a lot of bullshit to work with. He's not the most talented guy, but he's done as much as you could ever expect anybody with that level of talent to do. Yeah. Um, I, he I, just works for one of the worst organizations in all of professional sports. Oh, 100%. Uh, and I think that's that's unfortunate. I actually really like Derek Carr as far as, uh, like, a personality. I'm, you know, I don't. he's not my favorite player, like you said, about J.J. Watt, yeah. but – but um, he does have a whole bunch of talent around him, and that's really tough to overlook. But it's uh, kind of weird that um, they're – I mean, it's like you're trading away the quarterbacks and, and keeping the coach. So you're doing the exact opposite mm-hmm. of what the Denver Broncos are doing. <clears throat> and I don't know which one I uh, – yeah, I do. I kind of wish they wouldn't have fired the coach in Denver, but you can't not do that. you got to blame it on somebody. Sure. But in, in Las Vegas, it's like – that kind of rubs me a, a wronger way because he's been there for so long. He's carried him as far as he could possibly take me. Now you're kind of doing him dirty. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They gave up a hell of a lot of uh, double-digit leads this year in the second half of a lot of games, which you don't get to have that double-digit lead without some decent quarterback play. Correct. Usually a double-digit lead is blown by shit coaching decisions. And the defense. Yeah. Defensive coordinators. That that's that's your your assholes playing prevent defense and allowing somebody back in the game. And I, I don't understand that. That's the I that's like the, if I was a head coach, I would start prevent about second quarter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's mm-hmm. the Andy Andy Reid way to do things. I think. You know, uh, on the old Nintendo, there was a game John Elway's quarterback, and the prevent defense was by far the best defense. Yeah, that I think I remember that. It was so weird. Well, even even like, uh, oh shit. Even in Madden, if you played prevent defense, uh, but you you took control over one of those guys, mm-hmm. you could blitz the fucking quarterback and take yeah. him out. You could do it. So anyway, do you yeah. not usually control somebody on defense? Uh, I normally am a lineman or oh, a D back, yeah. one of the two. Uh, okay, uh, next thing. Moving on, we're going to go to uh, the New England Patriots. This is probably the nicest thing that uh, that the owner did, at, at least since I could remember. But uh, New England Patriots fan Jerry Edmond uh, went to a, vi- or went to a uh, game last week, and uh, there was a viral video that showed him keeping his cool and composure despite being taunted and berated by a Las Vegas Raiders fan following his team's Week 15 loss. Um, kudos to that guy. First of all, the video of this lady just absolutely tearing into him and being a total fucking Karen. Most people probably would have uh, done something, but he didn't. He sat there, stood straight up, and uh, didn't say anything to her, didn't really even acknowledge her. And so uh, that video went viral, and uh, Kraft ended up uh, bringing him to the game and uh, letting him sit in the suite next to him. Mm -hmm. And paid his dues and it was pretty cool that's the very coolest thing i think robert Kraft has ever done here well aside from you know giving a asian woman a job that too yeah um, yeah. yeah i mean 100 bucks for bj i mean jesus that's that's, that's, that's uh a, that's yeah. pretty high um but uh okay can i just say something to everybody out there just a little life advice mm-hmm. uh while this worked out well i guess in everybody's favor for the most part if you are yelling at somebody and they just do not respond under most circumstances, watch out for that fucking guy. (laughs) Like the guy who goes nuts and is like, fuck you, man, I'm going to fucking kill you. That guy's not going to do anything. It's the guy who stays quiet. That guy might kill you. <laughs> he really He's will. plotting something, uh-huh. and he doesn't want you to know it's coming. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm guessing that had security not been there, he might have followed he, her to her car. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. There's always that guy. There's always that guy in the bar that's sitting back and watching something go down and is just being really fucking quiet. Mm-hmm. And once somebody tries to do some shady shit, that's the dude that's in there and I, fucking people up. I have 
always said that. If you want to know who the toughest guy in the bar is, it will not be the guy who feels like he has to tell you how tough he is. Mm -hmm. The toughest guy in the bar won't have to. That's right. And <laughs> I'm thinking that's who this guy is. Probably. He's either really secure or he's a giant puss. Yeah. <laughs> I, maybe. I mean, maybe this is just what he deals with on a daily basis. Maybe at home he just gets berated just for being him. Maybe, uh, maybe he is a prick. He could who be. Knows? But he took that situation really well and... And he got the last laugh, I guess. There you go. Even though I don't have any respect for him. <laughs> really? No. I gotta be mean. No, dude. If you you ain't gonna punch a woman, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're all about on this show. That's my favorite joke. Woman lips off, you fucking deck her ass. Bill Burr said it best. It's like there's no reason to hit a woman. Who? Bullshit. <laughs> really? I no reason. No reason. I could think of fifteen just off the top uh -huh. of my head. Yeah, you, you shouldn't. You, you don't do it. But you, there's a reason. <laughs> But yeah, uh, all right. Moving on to the AFC uh, AFC uh, South, which is, uh, in my opinion, the worst division in the entire NFL, and it is still up for grabs. Jacksonville Jaguars take the tiebreaker over the Tennessee Titans, who have lost five straight, which sucks. Do both Souths are they led by led by somebody with a losing record? Uh no, they I, they don't have a losing record. Okay, because the I, NFC South, oh, they have. The uh, Buccaneers, I believe, are... That's the one I'm talking about. You said AFC. Oh, did I say AFC? I mean AFC. And Jacksonville's in the AFC. Oh, I'm sorry. My, not, my bad. But uh, but no, the uh, that's right. You're, uh, you're, you're exactly correct. You're goddamn the, right I am. NFC South is led by the Buccaneers, and they have uh, Atlanta and all those guys in there. But yeah, the NFC South is not much better. Or no, the, no, it, it, they both suck. Uh, yeah, it's it, they both suck. But, Tennessee uh, started off strong. They did, but they lost yeah. Tannehill, and now they lost Henry. Probably, I don't know if they. Do play. you think they actually lost him, or if he's like, no, I ain't gonna risk it the rest of this year. I, I'm sitting out. I think that's it's probably a little bit of both, to be honest with you. And I think that's a smart thing to do because what are you doing, dude? You're you're not gonna go deep in the playoffs with uh, with this quarterback, and you're you've been struggling all year. It's gonna be a throwaway season, and don't uh, ruin your career. Who over is it. their quarterback? Um, I, I can't the other day. Yeah, I can't remember. Nobody of note. That's who it is. That's that's exactly who that's it is. That actually says that on the back of his jersey of note. Yeah. And his first name is Nobody. Nobody. Uh, I'll look it up. Um, you don't have to. That's okay. I'm not going to listen when you say the answer. So Okay. Um, the unsuspecting... Uh, oh, there was an unsuspecting Rams fan also that got jumped. This dude actually got like hit in the stands by a dude wearing an Al Bundy's Polk High jersey during the blowout win over the Broncos. You're talking about Al Bundy who scored Al four touchdowns That's in one game? Exactly. That was the greatest day in the history of anybody's lifetime. No, it wasn't. That's what he said. Okay, but it wasn't. But Al Bundy said it was. Okay, well, that's uh, that's wrong, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely wrong. Uh, but I thought you would actually enjoy that shit because, uh, you know, it's funny. And you like Al Bundy. He's your favorite player, I right? do like uh, unsuspecting violence. When you say you got jumped, I guess I didn't see this. What happened? Um, they were kind of like being just fucking ornery, and it turns out that somebody just kind of lost their shit and uh, decided to get clocked, but the guy was wearing an Al Bundy uh, Polk High uh, jersey, which I thought huh. was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Um, oh, silly gooses. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the uh, box score still. So yeah, um, uh, Malik Willis is the uh, is the uh, quarterback for the oh, the M Dub. Yeah, sure. M Dub. Yeah, sure. Uh, but uh, surprisingly enough, the uh, the, the uh, Los Angeles Rams. How about Baker Mayfield? How about him? He went like 20 for 24, two touchdowns and like 230 yards. They hung 51 on a pretty damn good defense. Yeah, like good for them. Is Denver trying to do something as far as the draft goes? Maybe. Of course. What do you didn't do? Didn't they just fire? Was the head coach? That came after the loss, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So I, technically, he was still trying to keep his job. I mean, if he was just doing what he was told, and then they still fired him, mm -hmm. that'd be a shitty thing to do. It would. But then you also got the other teams that I think are tanking. And this is why I hate this fucking rule. I hate the the worst team in the NFL gets the first pick and it goes back through. I think it should be a lottery at the bottom six or seven picks because you've got the Indianapolis doing the same shit. They've got Nick Foles going out there. They scored a total of three points on Sunday night. Looked absolutely awful. Um, I mean, I just don't like how teams are purposefully tanking. Uh, and I, I just, yeah, I think it's, I think it's cheap. It, it is cheap. You play to win the game. Her man us that. Yeah. Uh, fucking Bush league. It, it is Bush league. And 
I mean, there there are times when I, I think, yes, there should definitely be a lottery. But then there are times when it's like, like when Cleveland goes winless. Yeah. I mean, of course they should get the first pick. <laughs> and it's not as big a deal in football as it is, say, in basketball. Mm-hmm. In, in basketball, you can completely change the complexion of a team with one superstar player. Whereas in the NFL, it usually takes several good draft picks and some, I mean, if you're really the worst team in the NFL, it's going to take some pretty damn good offseason moves more than just one guy, even a good quarterback. I mean, yeah, it can be done, but usually do the, it's rare that the pieces are all there to where you just need a quarterback to come in and save the day. I don't know. Jacksonville Jaguars turned around pretty quick. Yeah, it took a couple of years, though. Yeah, the Jets are in playoff contention, and that was only last year. So, just saying. Yeah, but they were competitive last year. I don't I don't think they were, but I, you could be right. I don't know. Uh, anything else of note that you wanted to talk about, at least for this season? I saw that Andy Reid got presented a uh, hamburger for Christmas present in the locker room after their win. Yeah, I saw that video. I didn't know really what was happening. I mean... Of course he's getting a hamburger after the game. Whether you buy it or he buys it. <laughs> it's I mean, he, he acted like he was all surprised and <laughs> thought it was great. But, yeah, you know, he's like, just shut the camera off so I can eat this fucking thing. And I don't even think it was a real burger. I bet you he ate it anyway. He probably did. Uh, but what do you think of the power rankings that they have going on right now? Uh, I saw just the other day it was I actually, think very highly of them. Uh, that's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's all I think about. Well, I, the, have, I have no idea. What the power about. rankings currently, I believe, have the Kansas City Chiefs as the number one team in the NFL, the Bills right behind them, and then the Eagles. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong all day long. I think so, too. As lo- well, maybe, I guess, if you're doing it with what their current status is, as long as Jalen Hurts is not – the name the starting quarterback i guess i could see yeah how they wouldn't be up there but as long as jalen hurts because he should be back next week right yeah he should be back this week and so please be back this week <laughs> please did did they wind up losing to dallas yes they did okay Mar- Minshew had a decent I, game yeah he looked he looked okay for i mean he was serviceable so and but, i love gardner Minshew. but dallas they wanted to make up for some shit the le- the oh, previous yeah. couple of weeks and sure. and make a statement and you just can expect it. I think haven't the Eagles wrapped up that division? No, no, okay. they have not actually because they lost and uh, because Minnesota won. That's why I think that Jalen ends up coming back and playing this weekend because if the Eagles lose, uh, I'm sorry, they've sealed the division, mm-hmm. but they haven't sealed up the first round buy of the playoffs. Okay, okay. So if they lose, then they will not get the buy. Gotcha. So that's that's the whole deal. I did hear some some crazy shit the other day. Uh, and that is that uh, the Minnesota Vikings, if you took all of the one possession games that they've been in and flipped them, uh-huh. the Minnesota Vikings would currently be like 1 in 16. They would only have one win. They've only won games it, by one possession. It unless. doesn't surprise me. They are not a dominant team. No. And even even the Eagles for as Good. I think they're probably the most solid top to bottom team in the NFL, certainly in the yeah. NFC. Yeah. But they're not unbeatable. No, no, they're not. But I, th- I think you're right. I think offensively and defensively, that's probably one of the most all around teams in the mm-hmm. NFL. Uh, so a close second, in my opinion, would actually be be the Bills and then the Chiefs. I think it's the exact opposite as far as the order for power rankings, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, and you guys know me. My opinion fucking sucks. So great. Uh, but that's all the sports I got. You got anything fun? Nothing. Okay, cool. Absolutely nothing. Cool. That's great because we're moving on to the fun stuff. Thank God we're rolling right on through this episode. Uh-huh. God, I hope it's a short one because I'm still sick. Uh, let's go on to uh, real shit or a horse shit. This is our rendition of basically true or false. If you can't figure it out, you're a fucking moron. Uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. I inspect the toilet paper after I wipe my ass. This is very real shit. This is... Yeah. This, you have to... I mean, okay. For the most part, I can judge the viscosity of how the ease of how the toilet paper is yes, moving back is, there. Uh-huh, that's correct. And I feel like I have a pretty good gauge on it. But what happens if I think I'm done and I'm wrong? Dingleberries. Dingleberries, uh, sucked skid up marks. underpants. Yep, skid marks. Stinky crack. You don't want to have skid marks in your underwear. No, that is that is literal human shit. <laughs> and I want it off of me, away from me. The fact that we 
honestly, in this day and age, still, that's the best we have is just wads of dry paper. <laughs> it is really kind of disgusting if you think about it. The fact that we don't have some sort of a sanitizer. I mean, I know they have bidets, bidets now, now, but yeah. those are still pretty rare. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially in a public bathroom. Yes. So, yeah. So. And that's that's where I do all my shit, and I I'll, I'll leave the house to go shit somewhere. I, <laughs> just go down the street, hit uh-huh. up Quick Trip. Yep, I'll oh. go to Walmart. They got real nice facilities there. Oh, yeah, no bidets yeah. though. No bidets. Okay. Right. I don't want to mess up my own bathroom. Uh, but no, no. This is absolutely. Uh, you you were going to inspect the toilet paper. This is real shit. Uh, I uh, yeah. I, I I always have this question, and I don't know the answer to it, and I don't want to Google it because I don't want to. I want the I want the answer to come naturally. Mm-hmm. But how do blind people know when to stop wiping? They don't. They don't. Uh, no. In fact, no blind person has ever been able to leave a the bathroom. They're still in there wiping. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but anyways, okay. Or they get you know that's a special training that they don't tell you about with seeing eye dogs. That's true. Which, by the way, fun fact: <laughs> Did you know that not all visual assistance dogs are seeing eye dogs? Seeing eye is a brand name. Oh. From one particular training Tra- school. Oh. Yeah. I did not know that. You're welcome. New information, baby. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. I'm full of it today. You are. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. Sometimes I will choose not to help someone just because I don't want them to think I'm a creep. Horse shit. I choose not to help people mm-hmm. because I don't fucking want to help certain people. I don't like people. You run the risk of... Them being a douche. And that happens free, more frequently than you think. You go and you bend over backwards just for somebody to try and help them out, and they just keep on like wanting more and more and more, and it's like, fuck you, dude. I'm done. So, no, I just I just don't want to help unless you're you know truly genuine. And if you listen to the show. W- so. What do we mean by help? Like, uh, I, I always thought, like, this question was actually talking about, like, you see a, a, a lady in the grocery store, and she's – like having trouble get something or something like that, and you don't just voluntarily go up there and get it for her. Like that's what I think the question is actually meaning. But even at that point, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking do it. You don't know what can of worms you're getting into. Like I don't want no, to think I, I'm a creep. You but, yeah. don't. But um, if I saw somebody clearly struggling, I would be like, "Do you need some help with that?" Sure. I would at least ask. And I, I have this amazing ability to just walk the fuck away then. And I, <laughs> they, they can continue being a douchebag as much as they want back there. Absolutely. Uh, the one true exception that I do make to this is if I see somebody having car trouble, just oh. because I have been in that situation so many times and there is no more desperate feeling in the world than when you're stranded somewhere and your car won't start, and there is no better feeling in the world than when somebody says, I'll help you. If, if you need a jump start, if you flat tire, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to, like on the side of the road, no, not necessarily on that. Okay, but like in the parking lot? In a, in a well-lit parking lot, public parking lot, yes. Okay. I, I just, I can't not okay. help them out just because I've been the one who had to rely on the kindness of strangers on too many occasions. I... I, I'm torn here. I'm torn because this that, this is what I do for a living. And sometimes I, I question the sanity of certain people. Call a fucking tow truck. If you need to tow it somewhere, just call a fucking tow company. Google it. It's on your fucking phone. Uh, but then there, there are those situations in the parking lot where it's blatantly obvious. I've, I've heard of horror stories that happen from people acting like they need help in, with their car, and it's a, it's a sucker. The other thing I wanted to point out to you is – have you seen the ch- Have you seen the video of the chick trying to open a, a thing of pickles, and the guy asks if she needs some help opening the pickles, and she loses her fucking yeah. shit? Yeah, it's a stage thing, though, isn't it? I mean, it's I don't not. know. I don't. I don't know. But I hope it's not. But yeah, that, that's. I, I'm also scared of that. Like, hey, uh, are you, would you need a, a hand? I'd be happy to help you. What do I need help because I'm a woman? Blah 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 blah. And be like, no, never mind. Yeah. No, you need help because <laughs> your car won't start. That's yeah. why you need help. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I guess if I got behind the wheel, turned the key, and it started, then I guess that would have been because you're a woman that you couldn't <laughs> get. That's the only reason that would be. Other, otherwise, I mean, I'll I'll help a dude just the same as I would a woman. I would too. Um, you know, I, typically, Not. you know, I'm still six foot tall, 245 pounds. Yeah, I, you- I'm nobody's mark when it comes to 
sucker punching somebody and and trying to get over on that makes more sense uh you're not but i am yeah well people go out of their way to fuck (laughs) they look at you and just like i don't even have a reason i just want to fuck him up that's right so yeah i could i could definitely see why you'd be afraid oh yeah but yeah uh next one real shit or horse shit i love cuddling with my wife when i am falling asleep horse shit (laughs) (laughs) Such horse shit. Yeah, this is fucking horse shit. For a woman who is constantly cold, she radiates more heat than the sun. <laughs> oh, my God. And she can't lay still, and she has sleep apnea, so she's always jerking, and not not the right kind of jerking either. And <laughs> no, it's it's I'm, I'm an insomniac. I have to take strong medication just to fall asleep anyway. The last thing that I need is obstructions oh, and yeah. shit piled on me and hot woman not fucking me yeah. that's all i need yeah uh same same exact fucking reason my wife is generally a very very cold uh temperature person but whenever she goes to sleep at night she wants to be engulfed in like five fucking blankets and sweat her fucking ass off can can i tell you my wife got me the best christmas present this year Okay. It is a thing for people who have migraines, which I get sometimes. Uh-huh. But it's like this therapy gel fabric stuff in in it, but it stretches and you put it in the freezer and then you just it's got like a little nose cut out and you just put it over your head, over your eyes. Uh-huh. And it just makes your head cold. Oh. And I've slept with it every night. That sounds pretty nice. Oh shit. Yeah, it I is could do wonderful. It. But uh but no. She ends up getting hot and sweaty and then wants to cuddle with me. So now she's sweaty what? and she's hot. And I know because leave me alone. Help. Yeah. Let's get another 98.6 degrees yeah. stacked on this. You want me to light a fire too? Sweaty. I, and and, I, it's, and it's not just her either. I have a, I have a 95 pound pit bull that also is very cuddly and I love cuddling with my dog but when I'm under the blankets and I'm trying to go to sleep I can't have him up there either because he does the same shit he's a miniature radiator Do you ever notice that whenever your dog you want to cuddle with your dog they want nothing to do with you it's <laughs> only when you want to be left alone that your dog wants to be all up in your shit yeah. and believe me it doesn't matter if it's a 100 pound dog or a 12 pound dachshund <laughs> <laughs> they will take up the majority of a king size bed. Yes. My dog used to lay sideways, stretched out, just. <laughs> and it's, what the fuck for? I don't you know. You sleep with your nose tucked up under your ass the rest <laughs> of the day, but once it's bedtime, it's time to stretch out sideways. Yeah, that's true. What a dickhead. Yep. Glad he's gone. Oh, that's so sad. It is. All right. Uh, next one uh, real shit or horse shit. I will yell at fictional movie characters as if they can hear me. It's real shit. <laughs> it's you, really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There are so many movies now. I just watched, rewatched uh, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah? And I'm just sitting there going, you can't do that. That's <laughs> not a real fucking thing. <laughs> you cannot bail out of an aircraft at Mach 10. <laughs> And not be torn to shreds at the molecular level. <laughs> oh, shit. They have to make special... I mean, okay, you're... Let's see, what would that be? Mach 10. Speed of sound at, at sea level is 770 miles an hour. Uh, so Mach 10, 10 times that, you're 7,700 miles an hour, basically. Except he's up... Sound travels a little different, way up in the atmosphere like that. But... Okay, there's been a handful of people who have bailed out at the speed of sound. I believe only a couple have ever survived. Uh, and the ones who did shattered every bone in their body. Because it's, <laughs> it's like hitting a brick wall. And that's, that's Mach 1. That's at Mach 1. Yeah, the SR-71 Blackbird with two people on board had one that as soon as they got up to Mach 1, just broke apart on them. And I I don't know exactly what happened, but there was a major failure and the whole fucking thing just crumbled like a cookie around them. And they had to eject and the the captain was killed and the co-pilot survived, but he was in the hospital for months. Was that tragedy sponsored by Lego? Not yet. Okay. Uh, It might be. Okay. All right. Um, But uh, no, I'm, I'm sitting there the whole time going... 
God, who the fuck wrote this dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> Every time that they break an obvious law of physics, it's I I I can't stand it. Yeah, uh, mine's not that. That I'm I'm not one of those guys at the movie. I I, I don't uh, I don't care too much about that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty gullible when it comes to that stuff. Unless they've established that they can do that as part of the parameters of the character, oh, like a superhero okay. character or whatever. Yeah, they can do that. Right. right. But yeah. But no, mine is uh, mine's the thriller movies. Don't go in there, you dumb bitch. What the fuck are you doing? You know he's in there. Don't go. And there she goes. I could have changed the plot of the whole movie. I could have saved her yeah. fucking life, Jeremy. Yeah. You could have made the shittiest thriller of all time. <laughs> yeah. You know, the one where the woman ran out of the house and got the police <laughs> and the guy was arrested and incarcerated for the next 10 to 12. Right. Sure. Yeah. That's okay. You know that one? That one that's over in 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know what? I saved her life, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, you're a real hero, but you I, won't help her with jump starting her car, huh? Sure won't. Or getting anything off the top shelf at a grocery store. That's because I'm five foot six. I still crack up laughing every time I see that commercial with all the kids with the killer on the loose. <laughs> Why don't we just get in the running car? Are you crazy? We got to get in the garage with all the chainsaws. <laughs> I do like that commercial. Uh -huh. too. All right. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit. I will pretend to not see someone in public if I do not like them. That's horse shit. I don't have to not like them to do this. <laughs> no, it's real shit. I'll pretend. I, I, I will see them and go, nope, I didn't. And then keep walking about my business. I will walk away. I will put distance between me and them. I will do that. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. You don't? I mean, if I specifically don't like the person, then yeah. Okay. But I also don't want to have that. Uh, I'm really bad at goodbyes. Like, you know, I, I can't just give the friendly hello. It extends into a 20-minute conversation because it's like, well, guess I'll be going now. Oh, by the way, did you hear... Yeah. I can't fucking do that. That's a so. that's totally a Midwest thing. Midwest people, I've heard mm -hmm. that it takes them like at least ten minutes to say goodbye. Yeah, that's just one of the things that with us, it's just the way it works. Yeah, there's a, a TikTok of the guy. A modified version yeah. of uh, "Baby, It's Cold Outside." Oh, really? Where she's saying, "I I really can't stay," but then she keeps coming up with all these reasons, asking about his family. <laughs> say hi to your folks for me. <laughs> Well, I ought to be starting my car. You want me to do it for you? <laughs> I better shovel the walk, huh? Oh, uh, shit. All right. Well, that was real shit, horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. God, if you got any suggestions for these things, send them in because I'm running now. I'm running dry on these. Uh, but first one, overrated or underrated, acapella scene groups. You know. Pentatonics and uh, shit. I, yeah, I, I know what acapella is. Uh, yeah. I I hate to say it, but they are underrated. A good one. Wow. They. Uh, wow. A, a good acapella group is fucking amazing. Yeah. Now there are people who think they can do it. True. And they suck. Uh, those people can just bite my dick. However, it is somewhat entertaining to hear them really get into it when they suck. Mm, oh yeah. Um, but that gets old pretty quick. It does. I, I'm actually really kind of surprised. Uh, I, that, that's actual real talent, and I could appreciate that. Yeah, that's true. And they always have. Uh, oh shit! I was. I was. There was actually a fucking show. There's a. There's a reason why Pentatonix actually got famous. By the way, it was actually a, a show, and it's uh, and it's all acapella groups. It, it, that's all it is. And aca and and well. Pentatonix is the most famous one now, but there was a one, there was a group before that did like boys to men shit and they were fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I agree. I think they're definitely underrated. Some of the most talented singers and bassists, the guys that do the beats. That's the, that's one of my other favorite parts about them too. So can I change yeah. my answer? No. Damn. <laughs> Just because I, I said underrated. No, uh -oh. no, because I forgot that they inspire movies like that what's that fucking i don't know the god damn it with rebel wilson and anna kendrick and oh, where god. they're the college acapella group they made three of them oh no i don't know anything about this and i don't what know the if fuck i are want the to. names of those movies i could just think they're, the they're for teenagers and it's high they school suck reunion? and they think they're funny no it's uh, uh, God damn it. Oh, uh, no. I don't I don't know about this, but a high school musical? Is that what no, you're talking about? Come on now. Don't be a fucking fuck asshole. Fuck that. Yeah, no. I, I, uh, 
Yeah, I I'm trying to look up this fucking um, TV show that it, it's it was a, a huge franchise of movie Pitch Perfect. Oh yeah, that's awful. Yeah. Oh, I man. mean the first one was kind of funny, but then they just and and they were you could tell they were poking fun at what a ridiculous concept it was. Yeah. But then they kept making movies, like oh maybe they don't know how Ugh. stupid this is. Yeah, because it is. It's fucking dumb. Uh huh. Okay, well, I can't find it. I'm sure somebody is already screaming in the in their car saying, it's I, that I just show. found it. Pitch Perfect. Oh, no, not the movie. Oh. The show Pen- that, Pentatonix. Got yeah, famous, I forgot huh? that you were taking. Yeah. yeah. There is one uh, group called Da Vinci's Notebook. Oh, yeah? They're they're pretty good. They're pretty funny. Yeah. Too. They have a song called Enormous Penis. Do, oh, do you, and so I you manage it. them. I used to. Oh, I okay. used to, and then they got big. They did the uh, theme song, I believe. They had went by a different name first and then they changed their name to da vinci's notebook but they did the theme song to that old kids game show where in the world is carmen san diego oh yeah yeah uh, i did find it it was called sing off is what it was called that was the tv show uh, more like jerk off yeah. <laughs> yeah. boom give me a room shot thank you there you go got it okay next one overrated or underrated umbrella hats i'm gonna go with huh <laughs> You never seen them in the, them un, umbrella hats, like where it's just a headband that's holding up an umbrella. That one, <laughs> boy. Uh, <laughs> Bill Murray wears one in Space Jam. Yeah, he does. He does golfing. And there was a uh, baseball player named John Jay who had a baseball card with one on. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna uh, you just. For shits and grins here, I'm going to say that they are underrated, that they need to make a comeback. They need to make a statement <laughs> in the fashion world. I think that we need to see maybe like a, a runway show. Get that involved in RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah, for sure. Sure. Then make them all like special designs uh-huh. and stuff like that. And start charging 1500 bucks for them. <laughs> yeah. Get, get you know, Ralph Lauren. Oh yeah, they have Calvin their name Klein on it? umbrella Fuck hats. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that'd be great. Be the next new thing mm-hmm. that Jeremy and I won't buy. I'm I think say. a company like Jordash should come back <laughs> with their. They should make a big comeback. They were big, then they got small. They started getting like in Target and stuff. Oh, and no, they're going to hit the fashion world. They're going to take it by storm. They're going to make their comeback with umbrella hats. I'm sure they are because I'm definitely uh, saying that they are overrated. They look ridiculous. Um, next one, overrated or underrated, going in dry. Oh, this is underrated. Who doesn't love just skinning a layer of <laughs> flesh off their cock? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> the only thing better than this is just getting a rock hard <laughs> dick and just running right into a wall. <laughs> just head first. Well, the other head first. Right, yeah. Now that I've lost weight, I can actually do that and hit my dick first. <laughs> Just try and crumple it like a beer can. That's what I want to do. <laughs> no. But other than that, if I can just friction shave skin off of it, then yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. I love having road rash in my dick. Yeah, sp- sponsored by... Who the me. fuck? <laughs> sponsored. Well, you are running out of ideas. Uh, sponsored Jesus. by Manscaped.com. Uh, no, this is way overrated. This is awful. You have a responsibility to help her out, and you don't want that for yourself either. It's bad. Spit on it. Yeah, do something like that. I mean, okay, <laughs> here's the thing. If if she is dry, yeah, you haven't done your job. That's true. That is 100% you, true. That means she's not even interested. Right. <laughs> that means you either snuck up on it. <laughs> Take a flying fuck at a rolling donut. Took it by surprise. (laughs) Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a bad thing to do. Wow. Yeah, I know. Uh, Next one, overrated or underrated, rubber chickens. I like them when they're all stacked together at Walmart and people just go up to the big, huge box of them and push them all down. Uh Yeah, that's great. I I think they're underrated. I'm going to go with it. This has always been actually a mystery to me. Really? What are they? <laughs> and why do they exist? Because, okay, I can see if, like, okay, you have, like, a, a, a toy chicken, yeah. like a stuffed toy, you know? But those have feathers on them. Right. And then you could have something that looks like a cooked 
chicken. Mm -hmm. But that's not what this is. <laughs> it looks like a live chicken that's been plucked. Yeah. What happened to his fucking feathers? <laughs> Why is it naked? I don't know. Why are all rubber chickens naked? Because they're rubber, buddy. They've been plucked. And they make that, great that noises. That doesn't answer a fucking thing because they're <laughs> rubber. You can, you, you can actually, they make glue out of rubber. You can stick feathers to rubber. That sounds like a multi-million dollar business. It sure Jimmy. does. In fact, since you work in the auto industry, I'm, I got some new tires. Do you? That, with feathers on them. Nice. Yeah, that I think are really going to hit big. That's, that's going to replace spinning rims, I think. <laughs> Feather tires. <laughs> Feather tires. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. You can, you can drive on them. You can sleep on them. Yeah, right. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, you, don't, you don't want a nice feather tire? No, oh. No, I don't. I, I, I think feathered rims would be cooler. Have them, you know what, spinners with, with chicken feathers. I think that'd be all right. No? No. Nah, you got to okay. go on the tires. On okay. the tires. Okay, okay. And that'll, I think a lot of people don't realize this, but that'll help you get traction on snow and ice. Oh, really? Yeah, if you if you were to like stick some feathers to the bottom of your shoes, you would never slip and fall on the ice. That's, that is a true fact. There you go. That's a new, new, new trend mm -hmm. we're going to start right there. All right, last one, overrated or underrated. Telling a child Santa is not real. What? Overrated, you dick. What kind of a fucking monster are you? You tell them that Santa is real and he's dead. <laughs> died in a tragic sleigh accident. <laughs> tried to jump off a cliff with a bunch he, of reindeer. He tried to bail out at supersonic speeds. <laughs> yeah. Eject at Mach 4. Uh -huh. What an idiot. No, I think this is way underrated. That's a that's a that's a moment you don't forget. You never forget it when your parents finally break down and tell you that Santa doesn't exist. Most parents don't have to tell you their kids friends, figure it out. Their friends do. Well, and kids eventually learn to use logic and reason. This only works on little kids because they're stupid. <laughs> they don't know how things work. Eventually all kids get to a certain age where they're like, That don't sound right. Flying reindeer. Flying reindeer. What the fuck? That, that part's fine. That part's they, fine? Yeah. They just need some feather tires. And uh, right. They can take off. <laughs> they can take off. Mm -hmm. well, all right. That's overrated or underrated. Man, we are zooming right on through. Thank God. Uh, kind of. Uh, but, yeah, now we're going to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we're going to start with uh, this question. What's a place you would fornicate in and feel guilty about it? Nostril. Um, <laughs> That just means that I wasn't paying any attention. I'm not into it at that point. Especially if I finish. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Because I am I guarantee you, she's telling me at some point, uh, hey, this ain't right. And uh, I'm just ignoring her. I'm just ignoring her. I'm still going through the motions. Cleaning out her sinuses. Or I'm just so into it, and I'm really, like, making love to her nose. <laughs> just you, fucking her nose. Do you spit in her nose first? Sure. Sure I would. <laughs> sure. I ain't going in dry. <laughs> okay. That's rude. Just make it sure. That is rude. It is rude. I would uh, I would feel bad if I fucked at a Flying J convenience store. That would be... I would, I would feel terrible because of... Just because it's so cliche. Everybody's done it. <laughs> no, because of... Uh, Probably who was also at that Flying V or Flying J convenience store. It wasn't a woman. It was probably, what's that guy from Dumb and Dumber? Lloyd? No, no. The guy that ends up catching up with the, uh, catching up to him miles down the road. Seabass. Oh. Seabass yeah. ends up finding him in the bathroom. That's yeah. what I feel like if that happened. He double so. penetration cock and a Charleston shoe. <laughs> oh, gross. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Cocks are a, gross. They are. Uh, have, however, have you ever made love to a Charleston chew? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so sensual. You've made love to a lot of things. I sure have. McDonald's apple pie. Uh-huh. I mean, crazy. But, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Next question. What is a strange question to find on an IQ test? Uh, it, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, is cereal soup? You got you to gotta make that decision. No, it's not. It is, too. Soup has to be cooked. Okay. Cook your fucking cereal. D that's not a part of it. I think so. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. You are so fucking wrong. No, I think you can. You can cook cereal. And you can't just have milk 
as the base or water or whatever. There has to either be a broth or a juice coming from the item in, of course, God damn it. Ah, yeah, um, you're missing some fruity pebbles yeah, stuff here. <laughs> a hot cereal I would consider soup. Okay. That's also one of my favorite sex moves. <laughs> Gave her a Malto meal? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Right in her nose. Oh, that's gross. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going to go with what sound does a doggy make? <laughs> <laughs> because I've taken a couple IQ tests, and I, like official ones, and I know the questions. That they keep going and going and escalating with uh, how hard they are uh, until you can't answer them consistently anymore. But I got to think there's got to be a place to go for people who can't get that first one. Oh, yeah, for and, sure. And it's got to go down. Uh-huh. And if you get to what sound does a doggy make, <laughs> you should just know you're not doing well. <laughs> well, what do you, what's the correct answer? Because it's not bark. It's woof, woof, right? Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Just of make course it. it is, Scotty. And or, you know I hate agreeing with you. I know. But yeah. Unless you can somehow spell out. <laughs> that sound is called a bark, okay, but that's that right. is not the sound that they make. Right. Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, next question. What's something not against the law that you would never do for a million dollars? Swim at night in heavenly invest- or infested waters with sharks. Not going to do it. Just at night. Daytime, you're cool with it. Daytime, I would probably do it because I, I could see them. I actually have I've been watching that chick on TikTok that pushes away bull sharks and great white sharks with her hand, and uh, they go away because she's a professional, and somehow I would pick on the, up on that. Really no, quickly. she does that because they're trying to help her, and she thinks it's because she's a woman. <laughs> and so she gets really <laughs> offended by that, and she's a fuck you, shark. Fuck you, shark. Uh, but yeah, I, I couldn't do that. The, the, the fear that I have is not knowing what's below me in water or in, in a situation where I don't have very good control or I can't get away quickly. That's, that's the whole deal of it. Um, I don't have whatever it's called, thalassophobia, where the, how, how vast the ocean is. I don't have that. It's what's fucking in it. That's what I'm terrified of. So that's, yeah, I, could, I couldn't do it. I would, it, I would go into a mental breakdown. Jeremy, uh, em- embrace flat earth theory. <laughs> <laughs> there are just certain things that I'm not wired to do. And that's one of them. I, my brain would explode if I even tried it. It would, I would commit involuntary suicide. <laughs> Everything in me would just stop. Uh. If I even pause to try and entertain it for half a second oh come on jeremy come on but it, it, some of it makes sense right sure does the antarctic is, is on the outside of course it is right it's just really stretched out far yeah and uh you know uh yeah all the other stuff w- that they what? say. i, <laughs> I, 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 I want to hear <laughs> i'm not one of them so i don't really know but uh but the, i love how some of them are actually trying to drag science into it saying that gravity doesn't actually exist everything is through magnetic uh, attraction. Oh yeah, that's how everything is held down. Which, no, it's not. <laughs> um, but it, it even that they get wrong. It's like okay, we're going to tell them this is why, but we're not going to do any actual research into electromagnetic energy and yeah. how that works. Sure. Uh, but you'd be a flat mooner though, right? Uh, I'm. Everybody should be. Oh, okay. I believe that's the accepted scientific theory because it's fact. It's it they landed fact. on the moon. That's right. You cannot do that on a curved surface. You will tip over. <sighs> yeah. All right. Next one. What sound would be the scariest sound if you could hear it? So this is a sound that you can't hear, but if you could, it'd be scary. Uh, the Canadian National Anthem. Because <laughs> that would mean that I grew up in Canada or I'm living now in Canada in some sort of alternate universe or somehow we've been invaded and lost a war to Canada, which can't really happen as far as I know. Um, they played at the Olympics. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, just like that's now, like if we started off every show with the Canadian National Anthem oh, instead yeah. of the American. Yeah, Which, true. by the way, for those uh, who are wanting an update, we tuned in to see KU getting their ass kicked. They are now just down by eight points and just got an onside kick. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want them to win ever. doesn't matter. Basketball, baseball, 
soccer. I don't give a fuck. Uh, well, if they play soccer, we're all losers. That's true. So, um, I went with uh, Mitch Pe- Mitch Hedberg. Uh, I, I agree with him. If uh, if you could stick your head in water and hear a fish getting caught, I think that'd be pretty scary. Just, yeah. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! I I still wonder what fish are thinking during catch and release fishing. Is it? Like in a movie with a kidnapping scenario where somebody sneaks up behind you, puts a hood over your head, throws you in a van, and then just drops you off a couple blocks <laughs> somewhere else. Why would they do that? I don't know. Why, <laughs> why would you catch a fish and not keep it? Because <laughs> it's not big I enough. I mean, that's how much sense. Well, right. But whenever I go fishing, that's I don't, I don't really like most freshwater fish. So True, I don't keep way. shit. Uh, I just catch it, look at it. And put it back. <laughs> so it's a lot like getting a hood thrown over your hood, your head, dragged into a van and dropped off four blocks away. Fair. I saw some. All you did was inconvenience me. <laughs> I was almost to my car. It's like getting pulled over by the cops and they get uh-huh. they let you off the warning. I'm like, God damn mm-hmm. it. That's really what it is. Kind of, yeah. But uh, no, I saw some fucked up shit on TikTok just uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was uh, like the the Bass Pro like fishing tournaments and stuff like that. Oh, where they stuffed the they fish st- with weights? They put weights in those motherfuckers. The hatred. Oh, yeah. From people. Because there are people who legitimately pay their bills yeah. by doing that, and if you cheat, yeah, it's kind of like how we get when we see people cheating at baseball. Yeah. Same thing. Eh, except I'm going to say that given that most of, almost all of these people are Backwood shit kicking rednecks. Uh, <laughs> My death was certainly on the table. <laughs> it probably was. Like, had there been no police around, they may have been killed. Yep. They would have all been really quiet. It still would have been on TikTok. And followed them to their car and then uh-huh. killed them. Look out for those quiet guys. Um, yep. All right. Uh, next question. Last question. What's the weirdest thing you would find in your spouse's Google search history? <laughs> porn like any kind yeah i i just don't think that my wife does like if i stumbled over porn Mm -hmm. i i would be shocked i might be a little happy Mm -hmm. but i would be like whoa no that's weird that's that's very weird what do you do getting off to something but i I just couldn't do it that's just weird to me but i could be wrong maybe she does Shouldn't tell me about it. Something has to. I mean, yeah. you clearly don't do it. I don't. Oh, fuck. Uh, KU has just scored a touchdown, and they are now just a two-point conversion away from tying this game. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how about All right. You? Okay. How about you, Jeremy? What's the weirdest thing you would find in your spouse's Google search history? How to decorate for Hanukkah? <laughs> yeah. Like, just next year, she's just going to shit can the whole thing, uh. everything she's got, and... And we're going Jewish this year. That's right. It's that, not even one of their high holidays. No. I guarantee you she'll go fucking hog wild for it, yeah, whatever she does. She sure will. We're going to have 80,000 menorahs all over the house. So do you at least have one, don't you? Menorah? Yeah. Lord, no. <laughs> not in my house. <laughs> okay. How about a Buddha? Um. Yes, but it's a very old one. It's it's a family heirloom of hers. Oh, it's okay. not it's not because she's just so into Buddha. Okay, just making sure. And pictures of me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah back when you're chubby. All <sighs> right. Slam. Okay. Uh, now you want me to take uh, my shirt off. I'll show you. No, I'm good. All right. Uh, so that is questions and preguntas. Now we get to move on to what's in the box. We got another package. Uh huh. This one is actually addressed to me. Believe well, it or not, which I'm kind of shocked because, uh, well, unless it's like, you know, a big, huge. Oh, yeah. This ain't going to be good. No, this is going to be like a big middle I, finger. Or I something. don't know what's in there, but you ain't going to like it. I. Uh, but it does not. Or does it? Uh, it says Butyl, Obrist, and Dickman. I don't know. That's uh, Bunny. Uh, that's probably uh, that's uh, probably where it's mailed from, probably. So that's not the actual person. But we'll find this out. Well, either that or it's like. Some sort of cease and desist from a law firm. Yeah. Because so that like sounds that. like it could be. It does. It kind of does. Oh, shit. I'm I'm getting kind of nervous about this. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. It's another bag. People send us that a lot. I know. Oh, no. What is this? Bod Luxury Gifts. If seal is broken, please call. Oh, I'm not liking this one bit. Uh, good God! 
What? Yeah, the seal's definitely not broken. Holy fuck. Ugh. That's what it is. It's a bag that nobody can get into. I'm terrified right now. Oh, it's a box. Well, what's in the box? I don't know. That's oh. a lot of work just to get to this segment. I know it is, but we're going to keep going. All right. It's, it says it's luxury, so how luxury are we getting? I'm scared. Hey, that's what I thought. It's a bag of dicks. Yeah, I've seen these before. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a it's a nice bag of dicks. They're they're uh, you know they're kind of like nerds from back in the day, but they're dick shaped. Right. So uh, yeah, I'll fucking eat those because I love like that nerd. I heart. guarantee. I can't believe you haven't put them all in your mouth right now. <laughs> Usually, whenever you see a dick, it goes right in your mouth. Uh, Is that a stack of business cards on there too? No, it's a it's a thing that I know how this works, and if you pull it, it never stops. It just makes sound and it never stops. So what I'm, kind of sound? I will pull it off the air. That's what because then it'll just drive my. Well, my then wife. I can't leave. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, okay, I got you. I yeah, got you pull I it see, and it, it until yeah, it runs yeah. out of batteries. It doesn't stop. I see. Yeah. Okay. When you said it never stops. I thought you meant like the strip just keeps pulling and pulling. Oh, no. It that's never what, stops, and that's physically impossible. That is physically impossible. Mm -hmm. And I'll call you out for it every goddamn time. Well, thank you to whoever you were that uh, sent this to me. I sincerely appreciate it. Oh, no name it. on it? No, all? there was no name, uh, unless it was that firm that I said. So leave leave uh, your name in the comments. I'll give you a shout-out. I really do appreciate all of this. Certainly uh, sending, this stuff uh, sending a very clear message. By the way, KU yeah. has tied the ball game. Great. This but just enough time for our Arkansas to march down, get a game-winning field goal. Hopefully. Um, yeah. But, yes, uh, somebody with the right idea telling you to go eat a bag of dicks. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. Well, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Jeremy, it's been a long time since we've had to do a draft, just the two of us. Yeah, it has. So uh, this is kind of the, the same thing, only uh, I lost. Uh, did you did you win or did Derek win? I think Derek won. Okay. I came in so. a close second. It was a much closer vote than what it had been okay. recently. Fair enough. Uh, well, this, uh, this week, uh, basically, uh, Jeremy gets the championship picks, and we're going back and forth after that, but uh, two at a time, basically, after... Uh, after I start off with the first pick. Um, I, I've, I always talk about this one as being like one of my favorite movies, but when I, sh I shit you not, I watch this movie probably every single night that I actually edit our show. Uh -huh. I will, I will go upstairs. I will uh, start making craft macaroni and cheese because it's like 11 o'clock at night. And I will turn on a few good men. That is my probably my top movie that I can seriously watch over and over again. So that is my first pick. Jeremy, you get two. Okay, well, <clears throat> God, mine's so similar to really? that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, step up to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Uh -huh. The streets, even. Yeah. Okay. The first one can kiss my ass. Okay. The second one, the streets. That's right. where it's real. Okay. And then you get another one. Oh, God. There's so many that are just in that vein. But sure. Uh, you know, Drumline. I knew you were going to take that one. Uh, of course. I love that movie. <laughs> I, I'm sure you do. I do. I love it. Uh, that so, does not surprise me. You think that uh, <laughs> Family Matters was good. I do. I love Family Matters. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, with uh, my cousin, Vinny. God, she was good looking. She's still good looking. Yeah, she is. Oh, my God. I think, um, was it Brian Posehn that talked about how uh, the older that he gets, the more attracted he finds Aunt May? <laughs> <laughs> But they just kept using a progressively more attractive woman to, in Spider-Man movies. It was yeah. that old woman in the Tobey Maguire. I can't think of her name. And then yeah. it was uh, Sally Field and, and Marissa Tomei. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, my second pick, uh, you got to go with the classic. But you have to pick the right one. So I'm a huge, huge diehard fan. But, uh -huh. but I'm going to be honest. My favorite one out of all of the diehard movies with a vengeance, baby. Samuel L. Jackson, 
I love that one I, so much. It blows the hell out of the second one for sure. Oh, the second one sucked. Uh, first one's great. The first one is still, yeah, that's that's just, in my opinion, that's, if I was making a serious list, that would uh, maybe make my top five. I believe it. it it's it's a, one of those, if it's on, I have to stop and watch it. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, but you get two. Well, there's How the West Was Fun. Okay. With the Olsen twins. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Uh shit. Uh huh. And Joe versus the volcano. Joe versus the volcano. Uh huh. It's one of Tom Hanks' finer works, really. Okay. God. Rick Dukeman is in it. No, <sighs> no, he was in the Burbs. I'm okay. sorry. Shit. I hope you don't take that one now. No, I I, I'm good. I All cannot right. believe this game has gone into overtime. I can't either. This is sad. KU was just turning the ball over left and right in the first quarter. They were down by like 16 points. Okay. So I'm going to go with uh, probably one of my favorite movie quotes, uh, like movies to quote of all time, and that is Tommy Boy. Okay. I, I'm going to take that one because i got to have some comedy in there. And uh, But I am going to go with uh, – with one, the last one, and I know it's probably uh, people probably have heard of it before, but it's it's a movie that I still to this day, if it comes on, I'm watching it, and that is The Fugitive with uh, Harrison Ford. Mm-hmm. Love that movie. Tommy Lee Jones. Yep, I want every roadhouse, farmhouse, and outhouse search. Yep, that's right. I love that fucking movie. And and uh, but what was the next one? U.S. Marshals. That's pretty bad. Talk about Egypt. I thought it was okay. It was okay. The whole zip gun thing in the in the plane crash. That's a real thing. Uh, a zip, the zip guns. Oh, I know. But uh, they kind of probably shouldn't have survived that crash. Yeah, they were, they did manage to land the plane. Okay. That's, uh, that can be done. In fact, Aloha Air. I did a Lego tragedy on it once. Oh. Only one person died. They got sucked out the hole that the entire, on a 737 uh, one of their puddle jumpers that they were using, they didn't service it properly, and the uh, entire top of the fuselage just ripped off in midair. Holy shit. And they were able to land it. Like airplane? It, it is an airplane. No, yeah, the movie airplane. Uh, it stayed intact. Oh, okay. The, All right. Did you see a different version? I've seen Maybe. airplane and then airplane to the sequel. Maybe it was the sequel. I love that that's the... Uh, and it stayed intact too. It was a space shuttle, but oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still curious as to what you're. I I, I can only remember a, a movie that had uh, the airplane, and it was kind of like a Liam ne- uh, Nielsen movie, to where the top of the plane was ripped off, but it was a comedy, and so you still had stewardess that were getting blown around, that were co- like doing, um, uh, like giving people food and stuff. It's on, an old. It's an older on one. Airplane two. They blew the airlock. Oh. On it, and so there was it vacuum inside. Okay, because they were in space. Okay, yeah, I didn't like that movie. My dad, my dad, didn't. or no, somebody opened a window. I think, Man, maybe that was it to throw out their cigarette. Uh, all right, well, Jeremy, you get the last pick of your ridiculous list of movies that uh, you're gonna watch never. But uh, what do you got, boy? Uh, God, I, I hmm. Mean Girls? No, no, that movie sucked. <laughs> that, that just that's ridiculous, Scotty. Oh man. Uh, God. Uh, oh, boy, there's so many good ones out there to choose from. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go Dracula Dead and Loving It. Okay. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh I actually have seen that one, by the way. Fantastic, isn't it? It's great. That was about 15 years after Mel Brooks should have stopped making movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Jeremy. Okay, you may win this goddamn game. All right. I, 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 is, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. I, I wanted, because I went step up to the streets, I couldn't go You Got Served. Okay. Which is, yeah, that's oh, true. The fact it didn't win an Oscar is ridiculous. Tragedy. It's super tragic. Or at least a, a you know, an Emmy. Yeah, something like for that. For being on TV. For sure, yeah. A Golden Globe. Yeah. Maybe uh, a Silver Globe. Something. Some sort of a globe. Yeah. I should have won. I almost picked a Johnny Tsunami. 
And uh, is that the about, about the dude who squirts? <laughs> no, no, that's about the surfer from Hawaii that ends up moving to like uh, like a ski resort area and ends up uh, having to learn how to snowboard. And uh, yeah, so that's what that's it. Well, I mean, they are both standing on boards, <laughs> so uh, clearly it would translate. Yeah, sure. Oh, my Lord. All right. Well, guys, that is our draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for the list that you like the most for our five movies that we, uh, yeah, we can, we can only watch those five movies for the rest of our life. Okay. Now we get to move on to uh, my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. Ah, that's right, Scotty. Going uh, pretty obscure with this one. Uh, 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 Achilles was a uh, playwright in ancient Greece. Uh, he is considered the father of the tragedy. He was like the first guy to really perfect tragic plays and uh in approximately 455 bc he was visiting the city of uh is gila or gila in in sicily g-e-l-a in uh, sicily and while he was walking around outside a um i'm not making this up an eagle carrying a tortoise in its talons swooped down and bashed him in the fucking head with it <laughs> Apparently, this is uh, eagles are known to eat tortoises, and they have figured out how to swoop down at really fast speeds and smash them against rocks. And evidently, one mistook Aeschylus's head for a rock and uh, shattered both the tortoise and his skull uh, in what might be the most ironic death of all time that the father of the tragedy died in such a comedic fashion. <laughs> And now your child can re recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination, a tortoise, <laughs> and Legos. <laughs> Legos, always wear your umbrella hat. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that gets one of those, Jeremy. Thank you. Yeah. That's, I mean, uh, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just wrote it down and read it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, shit. How, how fucking stupid was that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, as as bad a day as anybody thinks they're having, yeah, you that get, didn't happen to you. I was gonna say get up to the pearly gates, but this was BC. Was this BC? This was in 455, approximately 455 BC. Okay, so heaven wasn't around yet. So, mm -hmm. uh, but when you got up to the pearly gates, how did how did you go, man? I don't know. A fucking eagle swooped down and took me out with a tortoise. I, I, I went by an act of you, asshole. <laughs> That's. A, I was minding my own business, writing plays, uh, and you made an eagle pick up a tortoise. <laughs> a tortoise! Yes. I mean, it, it would be one thing if an eagle, like, swooped down because it's just so badass and, like, wanted to eat you, so it just clawed your brain out or right. whatever. Oh, yeah. It hit you with a turtle. Uh oh Well. Uh-oh. That would uh, be that, the game. And, that would uh, be the game. Okay, you did not win it. They Woo! did not. They, that was what a shit pass. He had that guy wide open for that two-point conversion, and he just launched it into the he stand. He sure did. Why would you throw it away in this situation? You don't need to save time. Uh -huh. You don't need to preserve the play. Right. Make but, it or it's over, Dick. Yeah, that's right. Get a haircut, Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, all right. Anyways, our laughing on the shit or laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather have to take your first dates uh, on the entire list of Jeremy Joseph's movies in his uh, his draft picks this week, or... Like find a theater that plays old all, movies. Old movies. You can't even watch it at home on movie night. Nope. No, nope, we're going out for out? this. You're I'm going to take you to a nice dinner. We're going to dress up. And, and they're we're going to go see how the West was fun. <laughs> you got to watch all of them in one sitting? Oh, no, just any one of them oh, I any think one is of them? bad enough. Okay, yeah. that, that's good. Uh, or would you rather have somebody remake your favorite movie and it stars Russell Wilson? That also means your favorite movie never exists. It's no longer around. 
Yeah, I mean, it's because he would think he's doing a really good job. Really good and job. And he thinks that everybody just loves him and he's a star. Yeah. I, can you just imagine him saying, you can't handle the truth <laughs> or something like that? Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can too. You can't handle the truth. Let's ride. I, 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 I'm, go, I'm taking your fucking, your first date, man. Yeah. I'm taking your first date. There's no way I can tolerate Russell Wilson anymore. And then I lose a few good men. Fuck that. I'm out. I'm I'm going to drumline, baby. I think I would I would have fun with this. I think I might. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I may have actually watched drumline in theaters. <laughs> I'm no shit. I'm not lying. Did somebody take you on a date? I took a, a girl on a date to Drumline. <laughs> this was back in like eighth grade, man. Sweetie, I know you like marching bands. <laughs> hey, she wanted to go. Self-explanatory, we're no longer together, so it's okay. Oh, that, that wasn't your wife. Okay. No, it was not my wife. That'd be weird if you were still together after eighth grade. Uh-huh, I know. Um, how, about, uh, how about you there, Jeremy? Oh, we're going to the movie. <laughs> and... and Okay, I understand that this is totally irrational logic and that I should be above this, That, but I I get pissed off whenever they take a good movie and try and remake it, especially oh, yeah. one that didn't need to be remade, oh, especially yeah. if it's done for any kind of, you know, political correct advancement Oh, yeah, that too. Yep, I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, Karate Kid... Did not need to be remade. No. Karate Kid, the original, is a terrible movie, but it's one of the great movies of all time. The great, terrible movies of all time. Right. The second Karate Kid is shit. It's pure <laughs> shit. In fact, they go out of their way in that movie to say, this isn't karate. They, <laughs> it's kung fu. It, yeah. Yeah. They they go out of their way, and yet they still called it the Karate Kid. Oh, because you, you know. Sure. Yes, because the story. Because Kung Fu Kid ain't selling tickets. <laughs> Even if it is Jalen Smith. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I mean it the that's what sold tickets was the name. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. And it was that kid has and, and no it was talent. Shit. It was absolute shit. He's probably not even a kid anymore, is he? He's a, no, he's, he's a man. He's he's a young adult. Yeah. I, I couldn't I wouldn't be able to pick him out in a crowd. Mm-mm. No. They all look alike. Um anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I didn't say that. Uh, I said they all look alike, Scotty. That's oh, what I, I said. It. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And I think everybody out there knows exactly what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, Will Smith's kids. That's right. They, I couldn't tell you which one was which. Oh, God. Anyways. Just out there slapping people. Right. That's right. But anyways. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah. no, we're going to the, uh, I'm taking her to the movie because, okay, if you can take a woman to any one of those movies and she's still with you, you that's how you weed out. Oh, yeah. The shit women. Oh, yeah. You know she'll put up with some bullshit. Yep. If she'll put up with that, she'll put up with anything. Yeah. How the West was fun. Uh-huh. Sounds like a great time. It sure does. <laughs> That's awful. You just sit there and talk about how hot those girls are. <laughs> Aren't they like 14 in that movie? Oh, I don't think they're that old. Okay. <laughs> they're right in your wheelhouse around eight or nine. <laughs> okay. Oh, yay. Uh-huh. Spectacular. Uh, well, thank you very much, Jeremy Josephs, for surviving through this episode with just me. My pleasure. Yeah. We will have uh, Derek back hopefully next week, uh, barring some so. absolutely uh, tragedy, you know, like a fucking eagle swooping ha- uh, yeah. down and beating him over the head with the tur- tortoise. Jesus, he is up in Illinois. Shit, yeah. Weird shit happens up there. That's definitely true, especially in Decatur, Illinois. I think it's half weird. the shooting deaths in Chicago are actually tortoise, and they just can't tell the difference. Tortoise right. from an eagle talon. Yeah, they can't figure it out. Yep. Find the tortoise right next to him and go, what the fuck happened here? Yeah. <sighs> Must be AR-15. Yep, that's right. Uh-huh. Anyways, uh, uh, thank you very much, Jeremy Joseph. Uh, is your ne- is your is the next show the last one? Yes. Yeah. It is, I isn't it? I believe so, yep. Wow. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have a good time. At least the last one will you'll be on on a regular basis. Uh, you still want to come in from time to time, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Right, as, as a as a permanent member of the uh, the cast here. That's right. And uh, we will be taking a break. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be the, that week, uh, but it's probably not. It's actually going to probably be uh, after the Super Bowl is what I'm guessing, and then we're going to, we're going to put some uh, money into the studio and make it look all nice. Uh, give uh, Derek and myself a little bit of a vacation, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, so I will be announcing whenever that happens. So all of you fucks that sent us messages is going, oh, Thursday, why are you going to release it on a Thursday? You know what? You're lucky you got a show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll refund all the money. Yeah. All the money that, that you, that you spent 
we'll do that. So, anyways, ladies I, and I won't do shit. No, I, you want to be gone. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for tuning into another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Um, yeah, do what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for spreading the word and keeping the show growing. Uh, and as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor if you like us and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you meet the woman of your dreams, marry her, and find out she only lets you go in dry. <laughs> oh, God. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Excuse me, are those Google Boy jeans you're wearing? <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.